he's going to take it himself for a championship. Oh. Oh. A double play wins it for Frazier. Turn it to the end zone. What a catch. Makai Tuck touchdown. Live from the James G. Kennefick Gymnasium, welcome to the 2023 CIAC Class M Girls Basketball Semifinals right here on the NFHS Network. Tonight, it is a doubleheader with the winners advancing to Mohegan Sun Arena. Our first game featuring the number seven seed Wolkett Eagles facing off against the number six seed New London Whalers, one of the more storied programs in Connecticut high school girls basketball. With Glenn and Dean Perry running things behind the scenes, I'm Aiden Blank, glad to have you with us. Going to be a fun night of girls basketball. Always fun when you get two games in the same gymnasium and you're not scoreboard watching it all you get to stick around watch game number two find out who you're going to play one of these teams is going to advance to mohegan sun arena the grandest stage in high school basketball in the state of connecticut and they will play either saturday or sunday of next weekend for a class double m state championship the other well it's going to be a sorry end of their season just a game shy of the championship though we will see some young teams tonight we will see a game later between the number eight seed Daniel Hand and the number four seed Mercy. So Class Double M, the theme of the bracket so far has been upsets. You had Mercy advance as the high seed, but you had Daniel Hand take out top seeded Northwestern. You had Wolkett advance through in a bracket that included number two seed Ellington. And you had New London oust number three Sheehan. So a lot of these teams, at least three of the four, have pulled off upsets on their road to the semifinals. What a gorgeous venue inside Griswold High School. It's big, but it's not big enough that it's going to be a spacious gym. We should have some fun tonight with great crowds already starting to pile in. And again, at 7.30, we will see game number two. Daniel Hand, Mercy, Walkett in New London, the four to advance onto the final four in the second ever semifinal doubleheader in class double m let's step aside when we come back lineups and a national anthem you are watching the 2023 ciac class double m girls basketball semifinals streaming live coast to coast on the nfhs network hey conductor how about something new you played this last year Come on, get your head out of your sacks. Shh, we're trying to hear. Well, I'm sick and tired of hearing your kid play the wrong notes. Where's my kid solo? At least you can see your kid. Why is my kid stuck way in the back? The conductor only plays his favorite. Move! My kid heard that solo! You say it like this? Yeah, yeah. Come on! Back at Guilford High School, ready for the CIAC Class Double M Girls Basketball Semifinals. Game one of the night featuring number six, New London, and number seven, Wolkett, the winner, advancing to play either on March 18th or March 19th, Saturday or Sunday of next weekend, against the winner of Daniel Hand and Mercy for a Class Double M state championship. We are just about set for our starting lineups. We will join the public address announcer in just a moment. So we get set for hoops on this Friday night. Is there anything better than Friday night hoops, especially playoff hoops in the state of Connecticut? Tom has run out on the pregame warm-ups. Let's turn it over to our public address announcer and meet tonight's starting lineups. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and basketball fans. Welcome to the Guilford High School in the James Kennepick Gymnasium for today's CIAC Girls Class Double M Basketball Tournament semi-final game between the number seven seeded Walcott Eagles and the number six seeded New London Whalers. 
Walcott enters today's game with a record of 17 wins and 6 losses. New London's record is 16 wins and 6 losses. The Guilford Board of Education has a zero tolerance policy regarding inappropriate language and or behavior during games or events. Any inappropriate comments or actions directed at student athletes, officials, coaches, team representatives, and or spectators will not be tolerated and is justification for ejection from the site and school grounds. The Guilford Board of Education promotes good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, parents, and spectators. We request your positive cooperation and support. A reminder, the Guilford High School is a smoke-free facility. Thank you for your cooperation. And now the starting lineup for the Walcott Eagles. A sophomore forward, number 23, Lauren Sinclair. A senior guard, number 12, Mimi Riley. A senior guard, number 11, Amanda Sullivan. A senior center, number 10, Macy Abu Araj. And a senior guard, number 3, Julia Sullivan. The head coach of Walton is Marty DeCuccio. He is assisted by Joe Murphy and Elena Green. And now for the New London Whalers. A freshman guard, number one, Nara Dudley. A sophomore forward, number three, Kiani Allgood. A sophomore forward, number five, Serenity Lancaster. A junior guard, number 11, Italia Saul. And a senior forward, number four, Nalise Dudley. The head coach of New London is Tammy Millsaps. She's assisted by Jada Lucas, Cora Sawyer, and Kendra Ferraro. I would ask you to please stand and remove your hat for the playing of the national anthem. All right, let's play some basketball here at Guilford High School. Glad to have you with us. Another reminder of those starting lineups, Sullivan, Abu Araj, Sullivan, Riley, and Sinclair for the Eagles. Dudley, Allgood, Dudley, Lancaster, and Sauls for the Whalers. So both of these teams come in with multiple siblings. A pair of Sullivans, Julia and Amanda for the Eagles. And that deadly combination of Dudleys for New London, Niara and Nalice. Ready to tip, it's Abu Araj for the Eagles. Facing off against Dudley or rather Serenity Lancaster, who tips it to Dudley. And we are underway in game one of the night. Winner to Mohegan Sun Arena for the grandest game of the season. 
the state championship on either Saturday or Sunday. New London moving right to uh, left to right rather in their home whites as they are the higher seed, the number six seed. Triggers a three and it drops. We talked about the deadly Dudleys and they show themselves early. That was Nylees put up 13 straight when her team was down by six in the third quarter against Sheehan in the quarterfinals. And the 1,000-point score has given New London a 3-0 advantage. Less than 60 seconds gone by. Glad to have you with us here on the NFHS Network. And a night of a bunch of state tournament games, whether in the semis or in the quarters. We see some boys' games. We'll see some girls' games. You can also watch the L semifinals up at New Britain High School. That's available on the NFHS Network. And, of course, all the championships next week at all ten of them. Here comes Wolkett. A nice long opening offensive possession and a travel in the lane. Macy Abu Araj, the 5'6 senior, looked like she might be moving towards the basket but did it without dribbling. And on the first turn, uh, possession of the day, Wolkett turns it over. That's going to be important. It's a Wolkett team that only turned it over four times against Berlin in their quarterfinal victory. Pass entry is airmailed. So each team turning it over early in this ball game. Quick trigger three. Just off. Long rebound is poked away. And the feed back out for Sullivan. Amanda Sullivan controls it high just behind the Guilford logo. 6-10 left first quarter. 3-0 lead for the Whalers. Just warming things up in our opening semifinal. Great drive. And around it in form Abu Araj. She's their height. 5-6 gets it to drop. Cuts the lead to one. And just like that on the opposite end, New London gets back in front by three. Inside six to play. Down to the lane. Foul called. First foul of the night. Should be against Amanda Sullivan. Rather, against Atalia Sauls. Off the inbound, short corner Sullivan. Thought about a spot up, needs some help. Resets for Julia. The two Sullivan sisters carrying this team. Julia the senior. Amanda also a senior. They're both 5'4 seniors. You gotta wonder, maybe they're identical. Looked at a corner three, takes a corner three, and gets it to drop. Sullivan ties this up at five. Into the back court. Stripped away. And Riley's follow file uh, fouled from behind. Atalia Sauls just picked up her second foul. Taking away Riley's free lane to the basket. Another inbound play for Wolkett. They got to get it in, and they do. Sullivan in the corner got a screen. Triggers a three off a tip into the hands of Lancaster. She patrols the offense, skips in, and takes a foul. Good crowd so far. You expect an even better crowd later on. Well, foul foul on number three, Julia Sullivan. That's her first. Team's Julia first. Sullivan picks up her first foul, the team's first for Wolkett. This is a shooting foul, and to the line goes Serenity Lancaster. 6'5", senior, knocks it down and has a point. 4.52 left first quarter, 6-5 ball game. Two for two. And a 7-5 advantage for the Whalers. They've won a state championship before. KD Spencer Roman's team just a few years back. Haven't been in a little while. Into the corner. Carry back around. Julia Sullivan. 
Fist in the air, she's gonna call a play. To the corner for Sinclair. Doesn't know where to go with it. Now finds Sullivan, Amanda drives and lays it in with a finger roll. Seven to seven. Seven Sullivan with seven points. Just missed. Loose ball. Walk it comes away. Into the front court. Abu Araj misses. New London comes away. Coast to coast goes Dudley. Skipping through. Misses short. Rebound is pulled. Sullivan at uh, Lancaster gets fouled. Foul goes on Mimi Riley, the five foot sophomore, a five foot senior rather. And to the line goes Lancaster. She hits her first three points for her. You will notice on this New London roster, they don't go very deep. It's a seven player roster, no JV or freshman team to pull from. 9-7 ball game. A little over halfway done with the first quarter in the first semifinal of the night from Guilford. Sullivan around for Araj. Corner. Julia Sullivan had it taken away and it goes out of bounds in a 9-7 ball game. Substitution. Rebecca Wood comes in and Mimi Riley goes out. You got to think if you're Wolkett you got to sub a lot. Use that deep bench to your advantage. Sullivan around a screen and carries to top. Standing just in front of the Grizzly logo. Ball tipped out of bounds by Naraya Dudley. Stays with the Eagles who come in 13-1. and one in their home building all, all all but one of their losses came away from home looking for help Sinclair hands off Woods first touch rotated around for Sullivan hand off to Amanda from straight away bounces to the corner eyes up a three just missed it Rebound is loose. Corralled by Lancaster. Tipped to her. She goes in transition. That's where New London's excelled. Now they're going to set up the offense. The entry pass taken away. How about the defense from Wolkick? In transition. Lowers the shoulder. And missed it short. New London wants to run. It's a seven-player roster, but they can run with the best of them. Entry pass. One more out. Dudley. Yeah. Dudley's second three, she's got six of their 12. And Nylise has made it a five point game, the largest lead of the night for the Whalers. 2.15 to play, opening quarter. We got a good one in store on the NFHS network. Julia Sullivan commanding the offense. Wolkett is in their reds. Goes around, had it taken away. Dudley, the freshman, to her sister, and she travels. The New London side is absolutely living. And they were just given two points on the scoreboard that I don't know where that came from. That can't be right. There were no points even scored on that play. Heck of a defensive effort by Niara Dudley, the 5'7 freshman. Yeah, she's the sister of... Nalise, it takes a lot to be a Dudley in New London basketball. Nalise kind of sets the tone with her thousand points, but the Dudley sisters, boy, have they been a big help. Mimi Riley, handoff for Sullivan. She's got a lot of the points. She got a lot of the touches. Had a lot of the points against Berlin. Fifteen of them. Jumper in the lane, rejected. Now along two, that falls. Great stroke from Sullivan. Sullivan with her first basket of the night, though she's had a lot of the touches. Entry, free throw line jumper, around and in. Lancaster says, anything you can do, I can do better. 
She's got six. Dudley's got six. It's 14-9, under a minute to play in the first quarter. Happy to have you with us here from Guilford. Good semifinal Bruin. Wolkett has had some good chances. They turn it over there just every single time they score. New London's come down and answered. Atalia Sauls has two fouls. Foul trouble obviously not something you can deal with when you have seven players. Long three, just a little short. How about the rebound pulled by Lancaster and she got it on the putback. She's just become the leading scorer for New London and it's 16-9, 15 seconds left, opening quarter. Two fouls on either end, been a very clean game so far between the six and seven seeds in double M. Ball taken away by Dudley, goes out of bounds, 6.8 to play in the first quarter. Winner gets either Daniel Hand or Mercy in the championship. Three to shoot, end of the first quarter. Gotta get rid of it, and she just missed it. Good little hook shot from Macy Abu Araj. It does not fall. The first quarter comes to a conclusion, 16-9 in favor of the Whalers. Lancaster is eight, Dudley has six. 14 of the 16 points have come from those two. Let's step aside real quick, and we'll join you in just a moment right here on the NFHS Network. M semifinals on the NFHS network. Lancaster Dudley combining for 14 of New London 16 in the first quarter. The number seven seed Whalers leading the number six seed Eagles by a score of 16 to nine. Underway in quarter number two. Little Bunny, the jumper misses from Julia Sullivan and a travel in the backcourt. Lancaster wasn't thinking as she tried to bring the ball up. Clock stops with 7.44 uh, left, and the ball goes to the Eagles. Only one player has fouls for New London. It's Sauls with two. Wolkett with a pair of fouls as well. Sullivan and Riley each with one. There's a long three. That drops in. Well, how about Julia Sullivan casually dropping in a three from long range? Cuts that deficit to four. First basket of the second half, uh, second quarter goes to her. Straight away, Saws in the game with two fouls. You don't have much of a choice. One of the more experienced players on the team, a junior. High on the wing, Dudley. Gets it down low. And Lancaster has been a machine scoring underneath the basket. She's officially into double digits at 10, 18 to 12. Over goes Sinclair. Entry feed, ripped away. How about the defense from Dudley? Now can she finish? Lowers the shoulder and picks up a foul. Nalise Dudley, just a machine offensively for the Whalers. She's gonna go shoot? No, it was a on the floor foul. Interestingly enough, it is the first on Amanda Sullivan. There's a three, that drops in. It's the other Dudley. Naraya, the freshman. Nine point lead, largest of the night for New London. Her first points of this ball game, under six and a half to play in the first half. 
you're Wolcott, you don't want this lead getting too large. Want to keep this tight. Down to 618 left. Handoff. Fakes the far side three. The Sullivans handing off to each other. Now here goes Julia. Loose. They save it. And there is a nasty foul committed by Naraya Dudley. Can't be committing silly fouls when you only have seven players. It'll be her first and the team's third. So each team with three fouls. Neither one is in terrible trouble of giving up some free points at the end of the half here. Straight away, Amanda Sullivan, senior, trying to extend her season. So is her sister, Rebecca. I beg your pardon, Julia. Around the perimeter we go. The entry has been kind of tough for Wolcott. They have not gotten the ball down low too much, though they are a great three-point shooting team. They get it down low there. And Julia Sullivan's able to draw the contact. She will get hacked with 540 left in the first half. Call it Nylee Studley's first foul. So each Dudley with a foul and Sauls with two, making up four team fouls for New London. It is a shooting foul for the 5'4 senior, Julia Sullivan, and she hits her first. She's dropped six so far. Now she's dropped seven, two for two at the free throw line. Seven for Sullivan, now their leading score. Two for Abu Araj and five for Amanda Sullivan. And there's a foul. Mimi O'Reilly picks up her second foul. First to get to two for the Eagles. Five thirty-three left in a 21-14 game. Touchdown lead for New London. Little hook and the big one. Lancaster misses. There is another shooting foul, so it's gotten a little chippy here in the second quarter. First on Lauren Sinclair, fifth on the team. Got to be very careful you not putting New London in the bonus this late. At the line is Kiani Allgood, her first point of the game. Here's number two. Two for two. 5.23 left in a 23-14 ball game. Nine-point lead for the Whalers, their largest. Sinclair. Araj hits the deck and misses. Tried again. Met with a rejection and another inbound coming. Our officials tonight are Pat McCain, Rich Calitro and Nancy Piero. Inbound. Sullivan straight away, triggers a three, no. It's kind of a heat check shot there. Here goes Dudley, stepping through, making the basket. Eight for her, two off the leading scorer, Lancaster. 25-14, it's their first double-digit lead of the night. Three, trying to negate it, no. Very quick put back short as well. And New London corrals the rebound. Ball squirts out to Italia Sauls. Sauls up for Dudley. Dudley to the corner for her sister. No, missed the Dudley to Dudley connection. Shot tipped out of bounds, stays with the Whalers. If I'm not wrong, first sub of the day for New London. Joy Schneider has come in, number 10 for Kiani Allgood. Short side inbound for Dudley. Entry. Lancaster has another basket, up to 12. And the lead is there as well. Lead is at 13 with almost four minutes left 
in the first half. It's been a dominant second quarter for New London. Here comes the shot, blocked. Sauls. Here's Dudley. Dudley entry, too long. Just missed it. Three thirty five to go. Sullivan, or rather, that's a Raj. Short. Rebound is grabbed by Lancaster. Feeds to the corner. There's a three. That drops in. The thousand point scoring Elise Dudley is. Forced Wolken into their first time out of the game, and the crowd is letting him hear it. Dudley is now just one off the leading score, Lancaster. She's dropped 11. Lancaster has dropped 12. Two for all good, three for Niara Dudley. And on Wolken's end, seven for Sullivan, two for Araj. Five for Sullivan. Got to get a Raj going. She's your center. She's got to dominate in the post. But, again, feeding the ball in has been a really tough, tough task. NFHSNetwork.com is your destination for the most comprehensive high school coverage of high school sports. For live games to full replays to highlights, it is all there at NFHSNetwork.com. Thirty to fourteen, three fifteen to play in the second quarter. What has been an entertaining ball game thus far? Wolkett starts with a basketball, accelerating into the corner. Sullivan fouled as she drove into the lane. A very sloppy drive. Foul on number 10, Joy Schneider. Her first and the team's fifth. Long inbound. Then the drive and a much needed basket out of the timeout for Amanda. Sullivan now ties the leading score. Both Sullivans have seven. Shot misses off front iron. How about the rebound? That was Julia Sullivan trying to turn it into points. Two twenty left in this first quarter, first half. It's a thirty to sixteen ball game. Ball out of bounds. We'll see a substitution. Three for ten, all good for Schneider. Two ten to go, thirty to sixteen. Corner, entry. Lancaster's nearly automatic, but she's met with a rejection, wrestled it away, and the ball goes out of bounds. Now the fight from Lancaster on that possession was just unmatched. She nearly got that ball right back. Wolkett brings it up, under two to play in the first half, 30 to 16. One forty-three left. Here's Sullivan, looking for help. Gets a screen. Still can't get a good look. Terrific defense from the Whalers. Shot fake and a travel. Sinclair stepped. 
128 left. New, Lo- New London basketball chance to go up 32 16. Double up the Eagles at the end of this half. Sauls, Dudley, corner three. High off the backboard, no. How about a rebound ripped inside and a travel from Allgood. Kind of an awkward stance there, try to backpedal and shoot at the same time. 106 to play, 30 to 16. Winner facing either Daniel Hand or Mercy for the double for the double M final. New London has won before in double L. Driving. Up. No. 48 to play. New London loves that fast break. Dudley too strong. Lancaster on the cleanup. 14 for her. Half a minute left in the first half, 32-16. The Eagles have been doubled up. This game has really escaped from them in quarter number two. Stolen away again. Another bad turnover. Lancaster, no. This time it was Dudley trying to clean up, and there's a foul underneath the basket. We live all the incredible moments from today's matchup on demand at NFHSnetwork.com. A digital copy also available for purchase. Click on the digital copy button under the event video player. Download today's broadcast directly to your device. Eight to shoot. End of the first half. Arage with three. Out of bounds, 3.2 to go. Re-entry for the Whalers. Re-entry for the Whalers is going to bring in Schneider. Takes out Dudley for the final 3.2. Looking. Still looking. Got it in, but Abu couldn't get it. There's a half-court heave, and it's too strong. I'll tell you, that was some first half. That was some second quarter from the Whalers. They are here for a reason. They lead 32-16. We'll take a short break, then bring some stats back when we come back. It is the Double M Semifinals on the NFHS Network. Top scores in the first half for one. Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the stage. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs> The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 12 million participants in America who take part in high school sports or activities. to Guilford High School. It's 32-16 in favor of New London, leading Griswold, or rather leading Wolcott in game one of our semifinal doubleheader. 
a chance to see our next two teams warm up, Daniel Hand and Mercy. First half scoring totals for New London. Naraya Dudley dropped three. Kiani Allgood dropped two. And Elise Dudley had 11 and the leading scorer, Serenity Lancaster. At 14, each Dudley had a foul, Schneider had a foul, Sauls has two. And for Wolcott, seven from each of the Sullivan sisters, two from Araj. That kind of tells you where this team's weakness is. All points have come from three players. Meanwhile, fouling, each Sullivan has one foul, two fouls on Riley and one foul on Sinclair, and that is how we get to 32-16 in this double M semifinal. One more break, and then we will get you second half action as we move along in game one of our semifinal doubleheader right here on the NFHS Network. High school sports fans, relive your favorite moments. Just click the shopping cart below the video player to get your digital copy today. Welcome back to the Class Double M Girls Basketball Semifinals on the NFHS Network. Halftime, it's 32-16. New London leading Wolcott here at Guilford High School. Let's take a look at how they got here, that bracket. We mentioned some upsets. The 8-seed Daniel Hand over the 1-seed Northwestern. Mercy hung on over Foreign. Actually, they didn't hang on. They excelled there. And then the 16-seed Berlin their Cinderella run came to an end against Walcott and New London upsetting the three seed Sheehan so a little bit of chaos in a couple of portions of the bracket but Mercy and Walcott the two high seeds to advance in to this final four of course all the way off to the right there get another look at the bracket all the way off to the right will be the championship game Either Saturday or Sunday, sometime between 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. They will tip the ball off. These two semifinal winners will play for the Double Eleven Championship. I might be biased. I would say basketball is probably the best sport, the best sport for the CIAC, the sport they run the best. They run everything well, but getting to bring in this amount of teams and hosting the finals at such an amazing venue. They always get a great crowd. I don't think you could have asked for a better uh, 
championship venue in the state of Connecticut. One more break, we promise, and then we will play the final 16 minutes of this ball game, see if Wolkin has any comeback left in him. 32-16 New London, back in just a little bit on the NFHS Network. How about something new? You played this last year. Come on, get your head out of your sacks. Shh, we're trying to hear. Well, I'm sick of tired of hearing your kid play the wrong notes. Where's my kid solo? At least you can see your kid. Why is my kid still way in the back? Hmm? The conductor only plays his favorite. Ooh. My kid heard that solo. You say my kid? Yeah. game is also available for subscribers with the NFHS Network mobile app for Apple and Android devices download from the App Store or Google Play Store to start watching live and on-demand games wherever you may be. About to get underway with half number two in the double M semifinals. New London, a good quarter should put it away and send them back to the championship game. Wolkett has some catching up to do. Trailing by 16. Possession arrow points to the... You know, a bad quarter very well could take them out of this. We had talked about the surprise of... Serenity Lancaster being the leading scorer. Well, Tammy Millsaps, head coach for New London in practice, had said, you know, everybody knows Nalise Dudley is a great player, but what we do Now with 16. Opposite end. To the blocks. Arage up and a foul. Foul is on Nylese Dudley. Dudley picks up her second foul. Araj shoots and Araj makes. Three for her, 17 for the team. One more shot coming. Two for two. She's got four, the Sullivans each have seven. That's the scoring for Wolcott. Over. For Saul's entry, Lancaster's shot skips out. The ball goes to Walcott, starting to make a little push to start the second half. Team, both of these teams, uh, beg your pardon, Walcott out of the ECC, or rather out of the NVL. Dudley. Drives, kicks, rather that's Sullivan. Missed it, great cleanup from Riley. Riley gets her first basket and suddenly it's down to four.
starting to put a little more pressure on defensively. There's the drive. Lancaster in and out. Got her own rebound and is going to the line. The second chance points for New London at a premium tonight. Shooting is Sullivan. That is the second foul on Julia Sullivan. So Julia Sullivan and Mimi Riley each have a pair of fouls. No one's gotten up to three, though a couple players on each side have two. First shot in. Lancaster now with 17 points. Missed it. Long rebound. Into the chair as it goes. No foul. Ball was out of bounds. It goes to Wolkett. Six fifteen to play. Fifteen point game. Here's Sullivan off a screen. They can shoot a three. They just got to get her open. Entry. Arise. Travels. No basket. No basket. No foul. She turns it over. Get of the foul. New London trying to pull away in this third quarter. And it may just be working. Lancaster is 19. See, they charge the foul to. Missed shot. Loose in the corner. Out of bounds. It was the second foul on Lauren Sinclair. So now you got three girls on Wolkett with two fouls each. Sullivan, Riley, Sinclair, all with two fouls. A little bit of sweater, something over on the far end of the floor. Thirty-seven twenty. We're back underway. Wolkett basketball trailing by seventeen. Got to cut this deficit down. They've gotten it as low as fourteen in this half. Straight away, angles far sideline. Ball goes out. Stays with Wolkett. Inbound to Sullivan. Julia, handoff for Riley, looking for help, threw it away, backcourt violation, and it will be New London basketball with 5.20 to play, one dribble, and on the three, oh man, just keep feeding Lancaster, 22 points on the night, and it's a 20-point lead, the largest of the game for New London. Stolen away, New London basketball. The momentum just keeps building for the Whalers. Anything that Wolkett had to begin the quarter has just been wiped out. It's a 20-point lead. Still almost 13 minutes of basketball to play. Feeding to the corner. Here goes Lancaster, let her cook. 24, she just keeps scoring. She has scored every basket in this second half. 
off the blocks. Sullivan angles out. Got a screen. Need a basket to break the run. Sullivan draws the foul. 431 to play. First foul on Serenity, Lancaster. You don't want her getting in foul trouble, but she's not. Only the second team foul in this half. And the first time that we see Amanda Sullivan at the line. We mentioned 15 points against Berlin. She's led the team tonight, or at least tied for the lead with seven. And just misses. Second shot coming. Two for two. Or rather, one for two. She is now their leading scorer with eight. Entry drive. Lost the ball. Got it back. Dudley misses. Lancaster almost cleaned it up. Dudley got a third try and foul underneath the basket. Wow. How about that? Walk by foul number 12. Mimi Riley picks up a third foul. She's the first on either side to get to three. Inbound short quarter, Dudley. Offensive foul. They didn't give Nalise the benefit there. 42-21 with 4.14 to go. And it's the third foul on Mimi Riley. Here comes Wolkin, trailing by 21. Shot fake, inside, basket. They almost stole it away on the bring up. That's the first basket for Sinclair. She's got two. Corner, three, in and out. Long rebound, tracked down, but off the shoe of Naraya Dudley. Timeout called by Wolkett. Let's take one with him. 3.43 to go in a 42-23 ball game. Welcome back to the Double M Semifinals on the NFHS Network. Good to have you with us. Aiden Blank along with Glenn and Dean Perry. Stolen away. Dudley's got a lane to the rack. No one's going to stop her. First points from New London in this half from someone not named Lancaster. Dudley has 13 of 44 points total for New London. Got to be great when your 1,000-point score only needs to put up 13 to get you a victory. The drive. Araj in trouble. Exit for Sullivan. Off a screen, Sullivan has a nice look and missed, but it acts as a pass and the layup from Julia Sullivan. Julia Sullivan has nine. She's now bested her sister by a point. Here's the drive from Sauls. Reset. Little short from Dudley on the drive. 2.30 left, 44-20. Front court we go. Lost it. Fast break. Eurostep missed. Rebound other Dudley. Ball out of bounds. Goes to Wolkett.
2.10 to play. 44-25. Stripped away. Dudley, another lane to the rack. Another finish. Dudley with 15, nine shy of the leading score. Lancaster don't know that anybody's catching her tonight. Dudleys are all over the place. This is Niara who's going to the free throw line to earn those points. Multiple dumb turnovers from Wolcott, and they got to take another timeout. One more with him. Back in a moment. High school sports fans never miss another game. Subscribe to the NFHS Network to watch live and on-demand event coverage, game replays, and highlights from high school sports nationwide. Millions of athletes, thousands of games, one destination, nfhsnetwork.com, your home for high school sports. And tonight, home for the semifinals in L and double M in girls basketball. Let's see if we can't get a score. Well, some of the other games going on around the state, including the Division I boys quarterfinals. Big one up in Ridgefield. They won't start till 7. Ridgefield Danbury in the Division I quarters sold out. Ridgefield High School Gymnasium. you got to love that. At the line as we get back underway is Niara Dudley. She only has three tonight. Freshman just a little short. Misses again. How about the long rebound from her sister? Feeds over for Sauls. Entry. Lancaster. Niara Dudley misses. The rebound into the hands of Abu Araj. Opposite end of the floor now, travel. Sullivan won too many steps. They get it over the half court timeline. One more pass, Dudley wide open, misses. You're rarely going to see her miss that wide open of a shot. They reset it. Entry, exit. Corner ball. Great passing, terrific finish. Lancaster to 26. She's likely to hit 30 by the end of this game. Entry, Sullivan, yeah, around the cylinder and it drops. Julia Sullivan now their leading score with 11. They get it over for Lancaster. High block jumper missed, out of bounds. Who is it off? It goes off the Whalers. Ball goes to Wolkett, trailing by 21. Lead has hovered right around 20 since midway through this quarter. Sullivan hits the blocks. Trickles out for Sinclair. Entry. They reset it again. Julia Sullivan leading score. Guarded and fouled by Joy Schneider. Joy Schneider picks up her second. She is the third whaler to get to three. Or to get to two, rather. Quick entrance, turning the corner, Sullivan. 
threw it up, but it goes off side backboard, and that is the end of half quarter number three. 16 for Lancaster, 15 for Dudley, and New London is rolling in this semifinal game. They are eight minutes from a trip to Mohegan Sun. 21-point lead. We'll get to the fourth quarter when we come back. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the stage. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate. <laughs> the innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 12 million participants in America who take part in high school sports or activities. Underway in quarter number four and a 21-point lead for New London. Turnover from Wolkett. Whalers have made a pay in transition all day. Three, just short. Wolkett comes out of it with a head of steam. Down the lane, Sinclair out of bounds, stays with the Eagles. Wolkett's not a bad team. They just have been no match for New London tonight. New London has come in on a mission. Whether they're in double L or double M, this has just been a dominant group, and it's looking like they're going back to the state championship game once again. Starting the drive, stopped at the free throw line. Back door, Sullivan misses. Grabbed by Dudley. Up ahead. And they're bullying the freshman, Niara, who is likely going to be a big part of this team next year. When her sister and a couple others leave, it'll be Serenity, Lancaster, and and at least Dudley, two of the best on this team to leave. You're going to have to make up for that big time. That was the third foul, by the way, on number 11. A big year. Yes, I had the third foul on Sullivan. Off the out of bounds. Whaler basketball. Entry, and the finish. Boy, is Lancaster cleaned up. Just a basket shy of 30. The drive on the baseline in trouble. Travel. 50 to 27. Whalers who had to squeak by in the quarters have rolled here in the semis. They will get either Daniel Hand or Mercy in the state championship game. 6.45 left. Entry pass. Missed everybody. Julius Sullivan comes away. Leading score. Hits the gas and gets fouled. Nylise Dudley. Dudley commits the foul. And it is New a New London, London timeout. timeout. That is the fourth foul on Dudley. Timeout called. Let's take one more with you. Back in just a moment. 50 to 27 New London on the NFHS Network.
Welcome back. Here in Guilford, the New London fans are in a very good mood. They have dominated in this semifinal tonight. It's looking like the Whalers have a date with Mohegan Sun Arena, either Saturday or Sunday next weekend. Sullivan is at the line. It's Amanda. Makes her first. Actually, this is Julia. Assuming the score holds. This will be the last time that the Sullivans wear a Wolcott uniform. Second shot coming. And good. 50 to 29. They've got it back down to a 21 point lead. New London. Ooh, nasty foul. I'll tell you, Dudley Niara has taken some nasty hits. Wolcott foul goes against Bradley. That'll be her fourth. Long three missed. Possession arrow points to Wolcott. Possession arrow gives the ball to Wolcott after the jump ball. 6.20 left, 50 to 29. 16 fouls for Wolcott, five for New London. Sullivan for her sister, drives into the paint again. Travel. Abu Araj could not get the call, it's just been that kind of night for Wolcott. They have just struggled to keep pace with a new London team that potentially even against Mercy could come in as a favorite in the state championship game. Back in the game for the Whalers is Joy Schneider. Comes in for Dudley who's got beaten up a little bit. Wolcott goes to the press, just trying something defensively. Entry pass tipped away. They've denied the entry a lot. Araj, out of bounds, stays with Wolcott. To the ire of some New London fans. Nayara Dudley back into the game. Missed shot. Loose on the floor. Foul. It's the fourth foul on Amanda Sullivan. In the bonus, we're going to see shots the rest of the way. You know, in a game like this, you don't really want to see it extended that far. Both of these teams almost into bonus territory. One of them is. Up to a 22-point lead. Second is in and out. Rebound. Missed it. Throws it up and is fouled. A Buaraj picks up her first. Foul. Here's Lancaster, who has just hit 30 and has now hit 31. What a night for Lancaster. 31 points, 5.30 left. Sullivan. 
off a screen. Out of bounds. And it's going to stay with the Eagles. Sullivan off the inbound in a 53-29 game. Good entry. The exit. Going down low. Fouled. No foul. They keep it clean. You got to appreciate that. They took it away from Lancaster for the first time tonight. Wolk could try to get something in transition. Sullivan fouled. Finally, they get that call. They've been looking for it all night. She's going to the line to shoot. First personal foul on Kiana Allgood. Six on the team. We'll have a post game interview. Player of the game, you, you got to think that's Lancaster. Shot goes down, 23 point lead. A pair of shots there at the line. Travel. So a little bit of good luck down by 23 for Wolkett. They desperately needed it. Sullivan trying to direct the offense. Bounce to the corner. Wood. Up top, Araj. Sullivan. Three. Way short. For a team that started so hot at threes, they have not hit one in quite some time. Out of bounds, and the ball goes to New London. They get it over with Dudley. She's going to get called for a foul. Or did she? No, it was the instead the third foul on Julia Sullivan. She's still the leading score with 11. Shot goes in. Dudley has only dropped four so far tonight. She just dropped a fifth. Under four to play in the ball game. Ball rolls out. Should stay with Wolkett. Re entering for the whale is number 10, Joy Schneider. Inbound to Sullivan. Into the quarter and backed out by Wood. Arash, everybody getting a touch here. Fouls. They wanted a travel call. 25 point lead. Cut that down right now. Second foul on Serenity Lancaster, seventh on the team. First shot is in. 55 31. 3 31 to play. This is Araj at the line. And she's dropped six. 55-32. 20 plus point lead for most of the second half for New London. Impressive, impressive showing for the Whalers. One more pass. Oh, the finish. First points for Schneider. 
She becomes the fifth to score for the Whalers. 3.03 to go. Out of bounds, another turnover. We tripped up on our way across the timeline. Again, the game, you don't want the game to get chippy here. You just get a smooth finish. New London can start thinking about their championship next weekend. Foul there went to Wood, it's her first. A lot of fouls in this second half, 17 of them total. First shot in from Dudley, up to 16 points. Misses. 58-32. Corner, Wood. In and out on a three, just some bad luck, and the ball goes to New London, of course. They got it away. Sauls. Entry is rejected. Transition. Araj gets it. Eight for her, 58-34. Travel at midcourt. Two twenty-two left in the fourth quarter, 58-34 New London. Boy, has this been something. Just a dominant performance these last three quarters. The drive, lost it on the floor, kicked it back out. Sullivan, step back, miss, bad shot. They got it back to her though, to her sister. No on the tray. Sullivan had a long rebound, poked away, and Araj collides on the floor. With Schneider. Schneider's gonna pick up the foul. That's her third, the team's eighth. Everybody but one, six, all six who've gotten in this game for New London have fouled. Including Dudley in the game with four, Lancaster two, Schneider three, Sauls two. At the line, Abu Araj makes it. She's got nine, trailing Sullivan by just two in the scoring category. Has now fully surpassed Sullivan. Second. Good. So she's up to 10 on the night in a 58 to 36 game. Here's Dudley. Circles. Timeout called. Let's take one more with you. Final minute 44 when we return. New London calls a 30 second timeout. <laughs> Welcome back. It is the final minute, 44 to 58 to 36 ball game. New London leading by 22. Just running down the clock. Final 90 seconds, no shot clock. They could go all 90 if they wanted to. I doubt they will. This is the point where you traditionally will check in all the seniors. Close out this game. Final minute 10. Still haven't taken a shot. Yeah, 
Lancaster. Sauls. 50 left. And a personal foul. Second personal foul on Abu Araj. Again, Wolcott not a bad team. They put up a heck of a fight tonight, but man, New London, the unstoppable force, is going back to the final. Free throw makes it 32 for Lancaster. A round of applause as the seniors get to check out for the last time. Just an excellent moment on the Wolcott sideline. They're going to get a standing ovation from just about everybody in the building. A team that went a lot further than expected. You know, even as a 6 or 7 seed getting here, a challenge. Lancaster has 33, and that very well may be where she finishes. We're at 45 seconds to go as Mimi Riley brings it up, or rather, Wood brought it up. Here's Gianna Capaldo. And New London's going to get the ball back. You get the sense. 36.2 seconds left. They will probably hold it. Wolkett may let them. No, credit to Wolkett. They're going to play these final 35 seconds. With strong defense, Dudley for Lancaster. Dudley the drive, and a nice scoop shot to finish out her night. Not the night she's used to, only put up 18, but they didn't need it. Just a dominant showing. Three skips out, New London has it, and they're gonna run out the clock. The Whalers are back in the state final. Mohegan Sun awaits, 62 to 36 the final. A team that has been beaten up a little bit out of state. Didn't lose a lot of games in the state of Connecticut, lost a lot of games to New York and New Jersey, but boy, did they control this game tonight. Each so Sullivan Whalers, finishes with 11. Number five, Serenity Lancaster had 32 points. Lancaster had 33. And Dudley should have 18. We are just waiting one moment to get an interview with Serenity Lancaster. And here she is. We'll give her the headset. In a 62 to 36 finish. And here she is. Serenity Lancaster. Maybe not who we would have predicted to drop 33 points tonight, but she did. Was a little bit close in the first quarter. Thought a very good game through the first quarter. Thought this was probably going to be close throughout. But then you started to pull away at halftime. What, what was the message coming into that third quarter? Was it just score some points and, and dominate and finish this thing up? The message coming into the third quarter, I think it was just, I thought, like, I just wanted to get to the finals. For a team with six players, I just wanted to get there and show everybody that we could do it. Yeah, the roster of six players. You guys ran a lot. What's the what's the trick to being able to uh, to stay at active all four quarters when you're running that much and you, you don't have a deep bench? Uh, I think we just run a lot at practice where our stamina is just there. 33 points tonight. Were you going in thinking, I got to take over this game? Or w at what point did you think, okay, this is just my night. I got to keep throwing up shots. Um, I just came in thinking I had to do a great job. In order to get where we want to be, I just had to dominate and just go with the flow, I guess. Mohegan Sun Arena, championship game. How do you take care of yourself in a whole week off, which you haven't really had the entire season? 
um, I think, take care of myself. I just need to get rest and keep just working. How much does it mean for this team of only six, really, as you mentioned, to get to the championship game, to be one of the best in double M? Um, it just feels great, actually. It just feels amazing. Serenity Lancaster, 33 points, our MVP, and we'll see what she can do on either Saturday or Sunday in the championship. Serenity, best of luck. Thank you. That's going to wrap it up here from Guilford High School. We got one more game. We're going to find out who meets those new London Whalers in the championship game. Will it be the eighth seed, Daniel Hand, or the four seed, the Mercy Tigers? In the end, our final score, 62 to 36 in favor of New London. For Glenn and Dean Perry, making things look great behind the scenes. I'm Aiden Blank saying so long. We're back in about 35 minutes with the start of game number two. You've been watching the 2023 CIAC Class M Girls Basketball Semifinals on the NFHS Network.